The Frank Haith Show. Brought to you by Don Thornton Cadillac, Pepsi, River Spirit, TTCU, The Credit Union, Bill Knight Ford, and St. Francis Health System. And now your host, Bruce Howard. Hello again, everybody, and welcome to the Frank Haith Show. I'm Bruce Howard, joined by the head basketball coach at the University of Tulsa, Frank Haith. And, well, an exciting week, no question, coach. A great home win against UConn. Unfortunately, the last 10 minutes, you know, at Memphis kind of bit you, so you had a one-in-one -one week. We did. You know, we played really, really uh, well against UConn, a great atmosphere, and I thought our guys really competed hard. We go down to Memphis, and for 30 minutes, Bruce, we were in control of that ball game. And, uh, you know, just the last 10 minutes of that game, they got the lead, you know, and then you play on the road. You could tell they got momentum from the crowd, and then we struggled a little bit down the stretch. Still, after four games, though, three and one, you have to be pretty happy with that record. You're positioned pretty well. Yeah, yeah, we're in good shape. You know, this is a big week coming up, but I thought our guys really, you know, we've done well thus far. You know, started the first four games of the year, so we're excited about where we're at. We know we've got to really get better in some areas as we move forward. UConn and Memphis highlights are coming up on the Frank Hayes Show. We'll also have a feature with Corey Henderson, baseline to baseline. That's all coming up as we continue on the Frank Hayes Show. The Hurricane with a very busy week at Houston and then at home against nationally ranked Wichita State on Saturday. We'll be back in a moment. We're back on the Frank Haves Show. And coaches, you get ready to host UConn. These games have always been great, especially at the Reynolds Center. Uh, you come in at 2-0. Oh, they're 0-1. On they're kind of desperate for a victory, and it was a great game. It was. You know, only having the Wichita State game at home, and they fought hard. Uh, watching them on tape, they're so talented. You just sit there and watch the team, and you say, like, if they get it together, boy, they could be a load. But uh, it was a great atmosphere in here for us. I thought our guys – we're excited about the opportunity, and we came out and played very well. And your team had come in uh, really off of some momentum with the two victories, but especially the big win at Tulane, right? Yeah, at that time, you know, I don't know if people looked at the Tulane win in terms of how good a win it was, but I think now people look at how good that win was. Absolutely, with Tulane defeating SMU uh, later on after TU had won in New Orleans. As the Hurricane getting ready for this game against the UConn, Tulsa has won all of the meetings at home against uh, the Huskies. Huskies have won all of the games in Connecticut. Here in the early going, this will be a foreshadowing of things to come. Yeah, nice skip pass, Junior, by, uh, right there, uh, to hit Corey in that corner. Uh, nice up and under move by Martins in the paint, and that this started a good week for Martins, too. Absolutely, and the Hurricane up 5-2 to two at that point. Good ball movement. Great ball movement. Inside out, we talk about paint touches, and that's exactly what you get. You get a wide open shot on the back side of that. UConn would make a little bit of a run. Uh, Vital is a very good player and made a nice move inside. Yeah, poor closeout right there by us, and uh, he was able to take advantage of that and get to the rim. Come back down, and this is early offense, isn't it, where you get the ball deep? Yeah, and, and that's what we want. We want those 125s. We call those 125s. Where our bigs are running. We can get some early offense opportunities. Tied the game at 11, and then Elijah Joyner will make a play for you here. Nice roll up off a ball screen, good shot. Joyner making it 14-11, Golden Hurricane taking the lead. This is what Jolly O. Wheeler does so well. Yeah, really good drive and finish and the and one opportunity. And so the Hurricane up by 16-13. Eugene Artisan. Yeah, I think that was early offense too. A little pass ahead, and corner three. Sterling Taplin rarely takes a bad shot, and that's what you need out of your point guard. Absolutely, and uh, you know he continues to shoot the ball better from the perimeter. Down the stretch, UConn, good offense here for Diara, who made the layup off the uh, weak side. Yeah, we need to have a better block out right there, but uh, good finish by them, and then. Another uh, opportunity for Elijah to pass out of corner from uh, Gino. Shot a lot of threes in the first half and made a lot. I think we made 10 threes in the first half, I think it was. And uh, good ball movement again. Nice job against their zone. Same side pass back to Corey Henderson by Sterling. Tulsa up by six at that point, 39-33. And you'll get another three-pointer here. You know, they played a lot of zone, but it's still good ball movement and player movement. And uh, obviously Corey's feeling good at that point in time. Now the Hurricane up at halftime by six. The lead was as large as nine. 
but obviously you're shooting the ball extremely well with that three-point percentage of 62.5. Huh? Yeah, and I think both teams were shooting the ball pretty well at the top of two, but uh, Corey, I think, made uh, six threes there in the first half. Absolutely, and the Hurricane also out-rebounding uh, the UConn team, 14-11, and now here early in the second half, they get the ball in the corner for a three. Yeah, the kid Larry got going in here in the first half, at the beginning of the second half, and you know, good uh, out of bounds execution there by St us and Sterling making that corner for three. Igbanu with the assist for the Golden Hurricane. Nice pass by, uh, touch pass by Lawson Carita. And again, it's Sterling Taplin with the bucket to make it 50 to 44. Good ball ahead, nice finish to the hot guy. Uh, obviously a four point play by Corey. Yeah, one of those rare four point plays and that will give you a nine point lead. And there's no question he was fouled. Yeah, you know, the guy jumped into him, and uh, Corey showed great focus and concentration to put that ball in. Up by three, and now up by six, as Joyner hits another one for you. Yeah, really good ball movement. Again, all of our threes are in rhythm with, uh, off of good ball, ball movement. We go down the back stretch here in the final seven minutes of the game, and this is one thing that they did a little better job of in terms of their penetration of their really good guards and then getting it to their bigs. Yeah, they started, you know, they passed the ball very well this game and something they have not done quite as well in some of their earlier games, but uh, really made it tough on us with their execution a little bit. Yeah, and that gave them a two-point lead as Adams making that basket. Sterling Taplin comes back though and ties it for you at 68. Yeah, another good execution out of bounds play. Down the stretch, now the Hurricane is down by four. And boy, that's a big time shot. Big shot with 38 seconds, uh, down four, cut it to cut it to one off this ball screen. Uh, no hesitation, you know, he's feeling it. Uh, so that's the guy we want to take that shot. Corey would have a career high 30 points in the game, but uh, UConn would make a basket at the other end. And now you're down by three, as you can tell with about 11 seconds to go. What do you design here? Well, we call that uh, 15, which is a cross screen action. And, uh, you know, we wanted to blow it up, and, uh, uh, but nice patience by Corey for that shot. And then the shot at the buzzer by Vital was an air ball, and now you go to overtime, Coach. First overtime, not much scoring, and you're down, as you can see, by one, and what a great scramble play. Yeah, really uh, tap dive on the floor for that loose ball. Uh, good thing referee didn't see Elijah call the timeout there, and uh, Elijah goes, drives to the hoop and makes one of two free throws. So that free throw ties the game. He misses the second one, and UConn has this wild shot at the end of the ball game, at the end of the first overtime, I should say. And so now we go into the second overtime. Yeah, we you know we started. In, you know, Junior had a tough night shooting the ball, but uh, he hits a big three there in, his, in the second overtime. Yeah, that gives you a two-point lead. You get a stop, and now that's a spectacular play by Sterling Tap. Great try by Tap and finish. We, we say it all the time. Over the last year. And then finally, at the end of the ball game, with a two-point lead, Coach, a couple of opportunities for you, Tom, but they couldn't put it in, and your team survives. It was high-level basketball. I mean, uh, both teams have fought made huge shots, huge plays. Uh, you know, to give themselves a chance. And, uh, you know, it seems like every big shot we make or big play we make, they made one on top of it. We make another one, and it just boiled down, and we made it just enough to win the game. There you see Corey Henderson with 30 points, also a career high seven rebounds. Lawson Carita also uh, tied his career high with 12 points. So, all in all, a good performance for your team, and everybody pitched in, didn't they? Yeah, they did. And, you know, that was, I think that was Lawson's first start, too, and he came in and did a really nice job in that ball game. The Hurricane winning in two overtimes over UConn. Then they travel on the road to Memphis. The story coming up. Tulsa gets the ball. Down court goes Taplin. Taplin right side Henderson. Henderson off balance three. He hits it with 4.2 seconds to go. Inbounds pass Vital. The game is tied. Right side Vital. Three pointer at the buzzer. No good. Henderson hit a three with four seconds to go. Tulsa tied the game at 75. Back on the Frank Haith Show, and Coach, as you get ready to go to Memphis, you know that the Tigers at 0-2, they're a caged animal. They're a, they're a wounded Tiger, aren't they? Yeah, we, we, we knew going in this ballgame we were going we to see a desperate Memphis team and uh, a one that was going to play extremely hard. Their back is against the wall, and, uh, and, and it was that. But I thought our guys came out early, fought hard, put ourselves in position, 
For 30 minutes of that ball game, we were in control of it. Absolutely. The Hurricane taking the early advantage against Memphis and had a lead as large as 8-9 uh, in the first half. As you, we join you from the FedEx Forum and NBA Arena, of course, the Grizzlies had played the night before in Memphis, and now your team taking on uh, the Memphis Tigers. You see the records there. The Hurricane, of course, at 3-0 in Memphis at 0-2. So it's a big game for them. They can't afford to lose another home game or their first home game, if you will. But your team played very well early. Yeah, and Nice inside out pass, you know, we really wanted to go to Martins and he, he delivered a nice pass to tap on the backside for open three. So the Hurricane ahead, but Memphis then takes the 9-4 lead, not panicking obviously, and get it inside to Martins who makes a good move here. Yeah, and a, another good pass by Lawson Green and looking to throw the ball inside. Nice bounce pass and what's great is Martins the ability to make those post moves and his patience. Yeah, he's getting better and better with his touch around that pass here. And now here's Igbano again, getting position. Look at the way he walls that man off, huh? Yes, and nice uh, pump fake, finish through the defense. And the three-point play as he converted the free throw makes him score 11 to nine at that point. The Hurricane down by two. Yeah, and we, we, you know, we just got a little bit good rhythm here going. Nice drive and kick by Jalil. Quan's uh, first basket back. Daquan Jeffries with the three-pointer, and again, you'll see this on the replay, Coach, where you get that paint touch that you always talk about. Yeah, inside out. Those are rhythm shots, and uh, you know, it's just, just good offense when you're able to do that. So you take the 15-13 lead, and you'll up that lead to 17-13. to Nice try by Jaleel, good finish. Jaleel making it 17-13. A hurricane. Then Memphis went on a little run. This is kind of a game of runs, wasn't it? Yeah, but really good high-low pass by Gino, and uh, real good finish there. Martin Zigbanu with the basket there, and he would repeat that. Get another basket here coming up. It's, it's, boy, his positioning inside's outstanding. Isn't it? Yeah, good execution on a magic quick, uh, and just like you said, he, he sealed right and just went up and finished it. Hurricane taking the lead and now up 27-26, and here's Corey Henderson nailing a three. Yeah, they went zone as a throwback. Uh, really good, really good execution there. And on this play, you get Junior E2 open, he hits a three, and you look like you're in command, Coach, down the stretch here in the first half. Unfortunately, he gave up the last six of the half. Yeah, he hit two threes there, one, I think it was one bank three there at the end of the half. And, uh, uh, you know, we're really, we could have just, you know, I thought we had, we were in control right there at that point in time. Yeah, but you're not shooting as well as you'd like to at 35%, obviously. No, we're not. We're not. And they're shooting 46%. So we, we know we got to really shoot the ball better to have a chance. Rebounding was good in the first half, 20 to 15, but Memphis uh, would hit the boards hard in the second half. And here's to you early in the second half. Nice skip pass right there. And that three pointer ups the lead to 36 32, Golden Hurricane. It's good to see. And here's this the cross court skip pass. Yeah, and just the, you know, just good spacing on our offense right there to get, allow us to get that because you had Martin posted up. They were looking in a white line helping there, and that's what you get out of that. I was gonna say it's good to see Daquan Jeffries back in the lineup and he'll make a really good play here. Really good drive. That's a grown man's drive right there. And the hurricane up 43-38. And this is the, the sort of lead you had throughout most of the second half. Yeah, you, you know, you get down to that 10 minute mark, we're a really good uh, ball screen, pick and roll uh, pass there, uh, tapped at Junior, good finish. And the Hurricane up by five at that point, and then a nice steal for Tulsa. Good ball ahead, good rebound by Quan, put back, we're up seven again. So it's 47 to 40, and again, as you mentioned, you just kind of felt you had control of it, didn't you? We did, you know, we were executing well, we're getting the ball, we wanted to get it, and against their zone, they went zone, we went high-low, uh, good pass to Curran, good finish. And that finish gives you a six-point lead. You would have an eight-point lead in this game at 55-47, but then, and, and it also at 56-50, to but then they go on this run, this 10-0 run, which steals the lead away from you. Yeah, that was poor execution right there on the ball screen defense by Junior Tapp, and uh, no, 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 no communication. And then we get beat in transition defense, and that, that's, that's, uh, that's, the, that's disappointing right there. We, we got to get back to set our defense. Yeah, they made the 10-0 run. You get a basket here, and this was an important one because it gets you back down by two with plenty of time to go. Plenty of time, and we, we, we didn't want to panic. We wanted to continue to get the ball inside, and, but we knew we had to get some stops. 
Unfortunately, Jeremiah Martin had the game of his life. He ended up with 28 points in this contest. That basket made it 70 to 60, and so they went on another 7-0 run uh, after they went on the initial run uh, of 10-0 uh, and uh, after Tulsa got the basket. And that was just too much to overcome. Wasn't it? it was, and Jeremiah Martin was in, uh, shooting, I think, sub 30% from three, so he had a big ball game, make, making some tough shots, and uh, obviously gave him a chance to put, put, put him up and win the game. So Memphis wins the game, and for the Golden Hurricane, uh, no chance to wallow. Got to get ready for more games. Tulsa's at Houston and at home against Wichita. We'll be back with more in a moment. It's Baseline to Baseline with Corey Henderson, senior guard for the University of Tulsa from Dallas. Now, you first went to Wichita and then to junior college, mm -hmm. but you eventually chose Tulsa. Why? Uh, definitely the relationship I had with Coach Haith. Uh, we, you know, my family goes way back with Coach Haith. He coached my, my uncle and my dad, so it was just a great relationship there. Speaking of family, you mm -hmm. have a lot of family that have been involved in pro sports. Mm -hmm. Explain. My dad, he played overseas for a little bit, and my uncle, I think he tried to play a little bit. It wasn't too long. And then my grandfather, he was really good in baseball and basketball and football. So it's just a lot of sports, sports in our family. Well, you uh, are majoring in organizational studies mm -hmm. and you say that you want to be a businessman. Mm -hmm. What type of a business would you like to be in? Shoot, I want to do something involved with sports. So that would be nice to stay around in that. All right, finish it out strong, my friend. Thank yes, you. Sir. Thank you. Corey Henderson, Senior Guard, University of Tulsa on Baseline to Baseline. Our Don Thornton Cadillac feature segment, Baseline to Baseline with Corey Henderson. Good time to bring that one out, certainly. And Coach, he had just a fabulous game against UConn. Without him, you don't win. There's no question about that. And I think he's, you know, since he's been in the starting lineup, he's played very well. His numbers have, have increased, and then we've played well as a team. So um, he's a guy we've got to continue to move along and, and become a consistent double-figure scorer for us. Uh, you know, he had a couple shots against Memphis, just didn't go down. Uh, but I could see his confidence and everything getting better for him. Well, a career high in rebounding as well in the UConn game, and he's playing better defensively, isn't he? He really is playing better defensively, and I think that's what has allowed him to uh, play with a little bit more free, free, freedom on offense because he's, he knows he's doing his job on the job on the defensive end, keeping guys in front, coming up with defensive rebounds, uh, getting his hands on some loose balls. There you have it, the University of Tulsa getting ready now for a road trip to Houston and then We'll be at home against Wichita State. That's coming up on Saturday. We will see you at the Rental Center. Back with more in a moment. A lot of things ain't going right, but but what I love about it is how we just stay the course kept believing and trusting one another. You know, you had a tough night, you know, teams gonna try to take you out, right? They mm -hmm. took you out, try to take you out. But we had some other guys step up, and that's, that's part of it. We got some other good players on this basketball team, yes, sir. okay? Guys, that's the way to stay with it, stay with it. There's some things we gotta learn from this game, though, right, before we go to Memphis. Some things we gotta learn. But just understand what I told you, like I told you before the game, we can have a special team. We're, in a, we're heading in the right direction. Yes, just, it's all about us in this room. We're back on the Frank Haith Show, and Coach, you get ready for going on the road to Houston, never easy, and then at home against Wichita State. But first of all, Houston, and you won't be playing at the Hoffines Pavilion. You'll be playing at Texas Southern as they renovate their uh, new gym now. Yeah, and, uh, you know, they've, they've had such success over there. They played well over there. Uh, you know, obviously we know we're, we're going up against a great guard backcourt, and, uh, you know, the team, this, they, play hard, they play hard. They compete. Uh, you got to wear your hard hat when you play against a Houston uh, Team, a team coached by Kelvin Sampson. Yeah, Rob Gray obviously is just an absolutely terrific player, but don't forget, folks, at home against uh, Wichita State coming up Saturday. Obviously, they'll be a nationally ranked team. It's a big-time game, Coach. Yeah, top five in the country. I think they were fifth in the country when they came in here a couple years ago, so just a tremendous opportunity for our ball club. So we will see you at the Reynolds Center on Saturday when the Hurricane taking on the Wichita State Shockers, but first, of course, on the road to Houston. For Coach, I'm Bruce Howard. So long for now. The Frank Haith Show, brought to you by Don Thornton Cadillac, Pepsi, River Spirit, TTCU, The Credit Union, Bill Knight Ford, and St. Francis Health System.
The Frank Haith Show has been a presentation of Golden Hurricane Sports Properties and a Kane Vision production.